What's up YouTube? So today I've got another video for you guys and what we're going to be looking at is the Supreme and Louis Vuitton collaboration. Now this is one of the most interesting collaborations that Supreme has ever undertaken and what we're going to do today is we're going to start by looking at some pictures on there and I've separated them into two different categories. We've got the fresh tings here represented by Tutankhamun with his fucking Egyptian face there looking all gold and blingy. And then we've also got the little tings. Now previously this would have been known as the KFC shit bin. However, there is so much trash and so much tacky, skanky items that Supreme have made with Louis Vuitton, I've had to make a whole folder called Little Tings, because it's literally a supermarket full of shit. So, um, I guess we may as well start with the good things first, um, because there's not as many of them. <laughs> literally, I have struggled to find good things here. I've got five items that I think are pretty cool, um, but let's get going with them. So, to start with, we've got these sunglasses here. Now these are pretty fresh, I'm not going to lie, I think they look pretty cool but it just depends on the price, like a classic Supreme sunglasses you'd be looking to pay maybe 100, 120 quid and again that's quite a cool like bandana thing there, if that's a bandana it could be a handkerchief for all I know, um, but yeah they look pretty cool, um, we'll have to see what the pricing is on that one. Now a full pricing list hasn't been released yet but I do know that there is certain things on this video that I can release the prices for. So let's just get on to the next thing. I quite like the look of this leather. I think it's like a laptop bag and luggage case thing there. That's pretty dope. Again, not sure what the prices are. Probably going to be ridiculous. This leather bag here, I'd rock it. But again, you never know what the prices are. Again, if it's like, I don't know, like £200, then yeah. Cool. That's like standard Supreme prices. But you can just tell it's going to be like thousands and thousands of pounds. Because Louis Vuitton are getting involved. Another cool thing we've got going here is this little jumper thing here. Um, I think this will just be a nice light overcoat. Again, I can just see the price on this one being absolutely crazy. I think it will be over like a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars. They haven't released the official prices for it yet. Um, but rumour has it all of these items are going to be released from July 2017. Finally, we got like these little, I think it's a, it looks like a scarf, could be a bandana or like a headband, but that's apparently like full winter 2017, this is, this is all off kind of like item, like sites like High Snobiety and all that shit, um, and as well I'm going to do a quick review of some of the latest pictures we've got on there, but now for the moment, we are now on to our little things, now these little things here, <laughs> there's just a load of things. I've started off the first one by calling it trunk full of disappointment. So let's just have a look at that. Now the interesting thing about this trunk is that it actually is going to cost $68,500. And for British people, that's £55,000. Or in terms that my viewers will understand on Ben Windsor TV too, that's around 2,758 off your local shot. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking weed you could get with that. Um, it looks again, I don't know, I'm not dissing the quality. I haven't actually held it in person, but mate, would you, would you fucking pay? That's more than a car, mate. For like, what are you going to use that for? Like, what are you going to put in that? Like, that's going to be worth more than a car. Would you rather have this? Or like a well nice whip like that. I mean, most people watching this are never going to be able to afford a Mercedes, let alone a Louis Vuitton case. So it's kind of aspirational. But I wonder just whether Supreme are just selling out and going a bit too extreme here. Um, I mean, a lot of this stuff here, I'm going through it. These are all in my little items list because, again, they just look tacky. They look cheap. Um I genuinely struggle to see where the premium. I mean, that's okay, but again, I pay. I'd pay like fifty quid for that. <laughs> you know, not like the two hundred pounds it's probably going to be. Um, I just think for stuff that's going to be so expensive, like look at this. Look at that. Sorry, look, look at, at it. She was. Look at her. Look at her. Ah, oh, it's just. It's just some of it's just rank. Like again, those shoes. They just look like some standard Nikes you could get from fucking Sports Direct, like they're not cool, look at this down here, like I'm not sure these are fashionable but 
I think you've got to be literally off your bonds to pay for some of this amount. That bag is okay. Again, I'm not sure whether that should be in the little things item, but I just had to put a load of stuff in here. Um, let's just have a look what else we've got here. We've got the Supreme Louis Vuitton skateboard carrier. Now, the interesting thing about this, this will also set you back $54,500. And again, in British pounds, that's £43,420. <laughs> And 420, as we all know, special number. <laughs> but I just, again, just who would pay that? They're probably as well. They're the fucking ugliest phone cases I've ever seen. I, I wouldn't even, you know, someone would have to pay me to have that on my phone. It looks like some sort of chastity belt for your shitty iPhone. Like, what the hell is that? You know, look at this shit. Again, the skateboard there. The skateboard set, I think you I think you get the whole skateboard set for like that fifty five thousand dollars, but still you just there's just so many better things you could do with the money. This one here, it's I don't know why Louis Vuitton are trying to do like a Roadman bag. It just about works with Supreme, it's but a Roadman bag with like kind of a country strap. Like these are what all the boys in Eton are gonna be rocking. <laughs> But it's just, you know, look at these rank shoes. They look like, they just, no effort. Look, look, where's the quality? Where's the money that these are going to cost? Because I know these are all going to be in the thousands. You got like Kanye West sunglasses from the video Stronger there. Lame shit. It looks like it's from 2007. Um, but anyway, I could literally go on all day about these guys. Um, one thing I'm going to do is to just show you some good websites where you can get updates on this and other cool stuff like that. Uh, High Snobiety, they've got loads of current pictures of all the stuff in better quality than obviously I had it on this video. But this is a screen recording after all. Um, I mean, in these pictures, actually, they look a bit nicer, look a little bit better quality. So maybe I'm wrong, but it's all down to an opinion. Everyone will have their own opinion of these items, and mine is just, you know, it's not streetwear. Like, why would you wear that? Like, that's just, it's just lame. It really is, like, lame. Oh, I'm just disappointed, Supreme. I, I think, I'm not sure whether it's, they've sold out or whether it's a good collaboration for them, but I hope they have some more affordable stuff they're putting along the side with it that will still be cool and unique to people on the street and and you know it's not going to be overtaken as some sort of like i guess supreme luxury brand um but yeah there's, there's loads of pictures online you can literally just google it and you'll find loads of stuff on there um i mean in these newer pictures the quality does actually look a lot better as well um than the original ones we've seen um but just again like it's not great shitty bamboo there fair enough that i'd expect that to be solid silver and that to be you know from like a sunken the titanic or some shit because i just don't get how they can justify that price um but anyway apart from that guys thanks again for watching um make sure you as well subscribe let's just see let's just see if i can get my channel up here i you can just tell how unprepared i was for today <laughs> but you know, make sure you subscribe to, to my channel as well. Um, I've got currently now 1,045 subscribers. Which I hope that didn't play. 1,045 subscribers, which is absolutely awesome. You know, I need all the help I can get. And the more subscribers, the more that helps, the more likely I am to get some pussy, which I really need. <laughs> but apart from that, guys, thanks again for watching today. And there's going to be quite a few more videos coming in the new season, so stay tuned for them. And again, thanks for watching, as I've always said. Peace out, guys. See you later.